Hi, it's Matt from The Last Drop of Ink, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can quickly delete attributes in Magento with iMacros, but also in bulk. So let's jump across to Firefox. Now, if you don't have Firefox, just quickly just type into Google, getfirefox.com, and then download and install the browser. And you will need iMacros for this. So if you go to Google and do a search for iMacros, and it's the top search result, and when you're in Firefox, if you click the Add to Firefox button, and after you've installed and restarted Firefox, you'll end up over here with a bar on the left-hand side. And this is iMacros. Now, if we jump across to Magento, and I've got two attributes there which I would like to delete. And again, um, I'm just mucking around with a couple of um, test attributes in here. But this could quite easily be 10, 20, 100, depending on how many attributes which you've made. And if you want to quickly delete them, the little code snippet which I'll give you at the end, um, you can just go in there, hit go or play, on, or play it in a loop, and you can literally delete uh, as many attributes as you wish to. Okay, so if we now click on delete me and I'll just take you through the process, okay, you could manually come through and uh, hit delete, go into each attribute and press delete and that's fine if you've got one and two, but if you've got lots and lots of attributes which you do need to delete, okay, what um, iMacros comes to our rescue. Okay, now to record a macro, uh, on the left hand side, if you click on record and then press record, and then we'll record um, ourselves deleting this attribute on here. So, everything which we're doing, if you look in the left hand bar, it's been in recording it for us. And if I now click on delete attribute and then click on OK, you can see that it's been recording that for us in the left hand side. Okay, now if I highlight current.iim and then uh, go to the edit tab and click on edit macro. Okay, you can see that uh, in here it's been in recorded our action. So it went to that URL, uh, it then clicked on the attribute delete me too, and then it um, then we uh, press the the, the, uh, the delete button and um, sorry, we pressed the delete button there, and that was telling the iMacros to actually just press on OK. But the problem is, is that if we quickly create another attribute and then try deleting it again, so I'll call this one delete me. Like so and then save it okay if we go back and replay this macro is that it won't work okay and you can see it's timing out okay it's not working okay and the reason for that is a couple of things the first one it was looking for delete me too okay so we just quickly jump back to the code it was looking for delete space me too Okay, and then even if we did get into the actual uh, attribute itself, it's using an ID, and the delete button um, has uh, the, the IDs um, use a, a, a tag, a much longer code on there, which recycles, uh, sorry, which isn't recycled. It's not unique, so we can't just grab that button. So instead, I've made a little snippet of code here, which I'll show you. So I've selected that one there and then click on edit macro. Okay, and what it's doing now is looking for any attribute with no written on it. Okay, then it's setting up the dialog box to press OK, and this time it's we've instead of calling it by the ID, we're calling it by the class, which which is scalable delete. Okay, and there's an extra little comment in there which we can um, a little wait pause which we can remove. Okay, so this time if I choose this one and then click on play and then hit play, it selected that line, it pressed OK, and it deleted. Okay, so that's great, we can do them one by one, but actually, I've got some attributes which I'd like to, to remove in bulk. Okay, so I'm doing a search for the attribute code called at, okay, and I've got six attributes which I would like to do. So down here in iMacros, um, instead of just keep pressing play multiple times, is that we can set this to loop more than once. Okay, so I've now set this to six, so I've got, I've got six attributes which I would like to delete, and if I now press play, Okay, it's now going to go through that macro six times. Okay, and it's done number two, it's just deleting number three for me, it'll do number four, and you can see it's really, really quick, and it just saves you going through this uh, over and over. Okay, and there we go, all the attributes have been deleted. So if you'd like this snippet of code, okay, you can find the full article. Uh, on the website called Last Drop of Ink, okay, and I'll include that little snippet of code there and also in the bottom of this video on YouTube too. So, my name's Matthew Wilborn, thank you ever so much for watching. Cheerio!